Hi, my name is Greg Boletto. I'm an academic tutor here in Los Angeles. And um, today I'm going to be discussing an Algebra 2 problem that you're expected to be able to do here in California. Um, so we've got this table that has a pattern with X and Y. The problem is look for a pattern in the table, then write an equation that represents the table. Okay, so to write a linear equation, this is a linear pattern. Um, and you can see that because it's, the numbers are going up by the same amount every time. It's actually going by an amount of 5 is the pattern. Um, so that's linear growth, so it's going to be a linear equation. And the simplest way to write a, a linear equation is in slope-intercept form. So that's y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Um, so all we have to do is find out what m is and what b are, and then we're done with this problem. It's that easy. So the slope is just the increase in the line. It's the rise over the run. Um, so in this case, for example, as we go from 0, 8 to 1, 13, you look at the change in y and the change in x change in y over change in x, or rise over run, uh, or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so in this case it's 13 minus 8 divided by 1 minus 0, or just 5 over 1, so 5, which is the same as the amount that it's increasing as you go up by 1 in the x. That's basically what slope means. Um, so m, our slope, is 5. Now the other thing we need to look for is the y-intercept. The y-intercept is just the y-coordinate of um, the point when x equals 0. That's the point on the y-axis where the equation crosses the y-axis. So in this case, they kind of gave it to us, the y-intercept is 8. So b is equal to 8. That means that our equation is y equals 5x plus 8. And uh, that's all there is to it in this case. So you look for the slope, then you look for the y-intercept, put them into y-intercept form, and then you're done. Um, so a couple questions people might have about this technique. What would you do if they didn't give you the x equals 0 point and you had to still have to figure out the y-intercept? So here's another problem that's like that. So we have these x and y values but we don't have a point for x equals 0 and so how you solve this is you use the same technique to get the slope. In this case again the slope is going up by 5 um, for every increase in 1 and x. So the slope is again equal to 5 um, and we still need to get the y-intercept so what you do is you use the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. We're going to plug in the slope of 5, and then we're going to plug in one of these points. It doesn't matter which one. Um, I'm just going to go with 1, 7 to make it simple. So I plug in 7 for y, so that equal to 5 for m times 1 for x plus b. We don't know what b is. b is the y-intercept. Now we have an equation with one variable. We can solve for b. So 7 equals 5 plus b, subtract 5 from both sides, b is equal to 2. That's all there is to it. Um, another way that you could get b in this case is that they gave us the point where x equals 1. Um, so we know that it's plus 5 to get to the next point. So you could get back to x equals 0 by doing minus 5 from the y and you get 7 minus 5 is 2. Um, so you can kind of work backwards from what you know using the slope. Um, either way will work. Uh, this way is the best way to do it, solving it with an equation, um, if you're not totally sure on what you're doing, um, because it's just really straightforward. Just plug in the numbers and solve. This requires sort of thinking through it a little bit more. Um, so that is how you write an equation from a pattern in Algebra 2. Thanks so much for watching the video. Um, if you have any questions, you can feel free to write them in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. 
You can watch more videos on my website at latutor.net or you can go to my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot.